Hello everybody, my name is Copix, and welcome to another episode. I know it's been a while since you've been seeing my beautiful hair, hair coon. No, you haven't seen him in a while. Today, I'm going to be going on to a completely different platform that you may or may not know of called TikTok. Or as I like to call it, The Talk. And I, I'm i on there, I have it, but I usually use it just to promote my videos. I just do a short segment that's between like uh, 15 and a minute, whatever that length is. But I've started to, you know, use it for other things. So you can go follow me on there if you want to, I guess. I'll figure out how to link it in the description. Um, but... Because I'm new to the TikTok, I asked my sister, who is not new to the talk, to send me, well, I said, I need you to send me some TikToks. Thanks, babe. I call my sister that once. Just the once. Don't read anything into it. Your top 10 best of. Top 10, t top 10 to 20 best of. And so she sends me... 28 different TikTok videos. <laughs> so we have a plethora, a plethora of TikToks to go through. So without further ado, we're going to try not to not laugh. You heard me right. Try not to not laugh. Because if I don't laugh at these, that makes me a boomer. And I'm not a boomer. I'm a Zoomer. So we need to make sure that we laugh at these because they are relatable because I'm not an old Boomer. I'm not 20 years old. I'm not 30 years old. It doesn't matter. O over the course of my YouTube channel, I've been called a Boomer, but not today. No, today we realize just how much of a not Boomer I am. So without further ado, let's get into these TikToks. I get it. I funny, but didn't quite make me. Ya ya. I am in the Giletto. Say <laughs> ghetto. God damn. I'm in the ghetto. Rapondo. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Is there somebody in there? <laughs> I'm in the ghetto. Retardo. <laughs> I'm in the ghetto. Retardo. Da 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 da. Do uh, <laughs> you want to try again? I'm in the ghetto. Is that a song? In the ghetto. Retardo. Retardo. Da da da. Ah ah Come on, try again, try again. You need to check on your mother. Come on. I'm in. I'm in again. Oh. It'd be nice if you could pull me into town. See, I can't laugh at that. That's just ripping off Napoleon Dynamite. Okay, so this is... It's not original. Boys I love before. Sometimes most secret possessions. There are five total. Kenny from camp. Peter from seventh grade. Lucas from homecoming. John Ambrose from model UN. And and this is part two. Are you ready for when he signed up? From other, yes, but we have a young man from Portsmouth. His name is John Ambrose McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Largie. Okay, so this is to all because the boys I loved before. Sometimes most secret possessions. There are five total. So today I'm an. Hey, so today I'm an adult. I just want to pause it. So today I'm an adult trapped in a kid's body. It was one of the best experiences I've ever. Had. Okay. Okay, so this is to all the boys. Just exit out. Exit out. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know. So that last one, I I didn't know. I wish I didn't. I don't understand. No. 
No, it's not turning out good so far. So today I met an adult trapped in a kid's body. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had. By the way, this happened at work. I work for Disneyland. I'm going to speak for the brand or the company. So I am walking to work. I'm going through the Grand Californian. It is like 7.30 in the morning. All of a sudden, there's this 13-year-old boy who's coming sprinting towards me. And then he just whips around and goes, come on, Damien, we got to go. And I am like, wow, good on this kid. Because it's 7.30 a.m. And he's got this kind of energy. Good. Uh, but then I haven't seen Damien yet. And Damien comes casually walking around a corner. No rush to him. He's like seven to eight years old, bleach blonde hair, full large cup of coffee. And he just goes, why, Brad? We're already here. And I have never looked at a kid before and thought, oh, my God, you're going to be the best 50 year old. So today I met an adult oh, body. It was one of the best that's a I've boomer ever had. joke. Wait, no, I can't laugh at that. That's a boomer thing. No, no, no. Uh, hey, mom, I like your hair today. Uh, thanks, sweetie. I got my hair cut. Yeah. Anyways, can I go to the Johnny's house, mom? Oh, um, yeah. Speak to your father. Okay. Hey, dad, I like your hat. Thanks, sport. I got it from. Yeah. Can I go to Johnny's house? I'm busy here reading this book. Why, why don't you go talk to your mom? Okay. So, Mom, can I go to Johnny's house? I said talk to your dad. He's he's busy, Mom. I'm busy too, honey. Just talk to your dad. Okay. Dad, Mom's busy. busy. Son, I'm at the most important part of the book. Speak to your mom. Okay. It's an important part of the book, Mom. Folding your father's laundry is also very important, so talk to him. Okay. Folding laundry is important, Dad. For the last time, son, I'm reading this book. Your father. Your mom. Uh, hey. Stepping it up. This is 2019, guys. We're stepping it up. My pants are easy. My shoes are easy. I have seven stylists who put me in sweats and leggings, just like that effortless. I just want to do it. I can't, but. Hi, I'm John Stamos, one of the most handsome Hi, John. you can think of off the top of your head. Yeah, probably. Being a nodal Lothario, people Other than George Clooney. For sex advice. But guys, if you truly want to win over a woman, the real key is the cuddle. You and your lady will probably want to start with a Stamos soother. She lies next to you, her head resting on your chest. Not only will she feel protected, the, the pitter-patter of your heart will reassure her that you're still alive. From this position, she could kiss your neck caress your gallant chest while you run your fingers through her raven hair. You can also caress her leg with your foot or allow your toes to intertwine doing an affectionate little soldier boy dance. Feel free to improvise. You can nuzzle noses, butterfly kiss, blow on or even gently nibble her ear. I need far away from that. Whatever that was. Let's not do it again. Grab the eggs and throw it on the floor. Okay. Did it break? Yes, it did. Now say sorry to it. Sorry. Did it go back to how it was before? No. Do you understand? Wow. No. I don't understand. I don't understand. I, d I don't understand. Grab the eggs and throw it on the floor. Okay. Did it break? Yes, it did. Now say sorry to it. Sorry. Did it go back to how it was before? No. Do you understand? Wow. Whoa. I understand. If you say sorry to an inanimate object, it still can't hear you. I'm 14, and this is woke. Oh, yes! Give it to me! Oh, fuck you, motherfucking fuck! Ah, I'm telling my staff so. Oh, yes, daddy. 
Daddy. My toes are wet. We must not disrespect the army. We, we can disrespect the other ones, but not the army. <laughs> you can't, can't disrespect the military. Disrespect. Because back in my day, the military is what we had. The military was the pinnacle of society. You wish you could grow up to be in the military. I went in the military and fought in World War II. Oh no. I'm becoming more and more. Boomer. No. No. Hello, I work on my American accent very much. So tell me if my accent is good for when I go to America. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> what are you doing with all that ass? Nothing. How dare you? Oh no, sorry, I can't have nuts. I'll have a serious reaction. No gluten for me. It's just really bad for my body. What? <laughs> so relatable, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you even realize, like, when when that guy... Yeah, when she when she had the the nut allergies and it was like no way, but but then it was like the gluten, which isn't even a real thing, was like oh, I can't I can't. But then lactose, you're just like I don't even care. Oh my god! <laughs> Next video. Will this be all the bags you're checking? Yeah, that'll be it. Do you mind placing your bag into the carry-on measurements? I just want to make sure it fits. Oh, this? Yeah. Sure. Um, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not that bag. This is the only other bag I have. Are you sure about that? Um, yes. Look, I couldn't help but notice those bags under your eyes. Huh? Your slumped shoulders. What? That sad look on your face. What do you mean? You've got some emotional baggage you need to check at this gate. No, I, I, I don't. <laughs> Break up. No. Divorce. <sighs> no. Job loss. No. Lactose intolerance. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be okay. There, there. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> You're welcome. Thank you. That'll be eighty dollars. That one was just so stupid <laughs> that it just looped right. It just looped right back around to being funny, <laughs> which is which is like all is it's just like all TikToks ever. It's just like any of them that are funny. It's not because they're genuinely funny. It's because it's just like that was so dumb. Uh, much like my videos. Oh, now I'm sad. My loneliness is killing me. Timba. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that one. That was good. I I appreciate that. Okay. TikTok one. Hold up! Hold up! It's hold up! Okay? Han Solo was your father figure, right? And who is his son? Ben Solo! The other half of the dyad, bro! Do you look at me and tell me she shouldn't have been Ray Solo? Am I wrong? It's my favorite movie. She fell in love with Ben and Luke Skywalker wanted nothing to do with her! I'm fighting with you. Bro, I'm fighting with you. 
So let me get this straight. He's complaining because it should have been Ray Solo. What? I mean, those movies didn't make any sense. So, I mean, I, I totally understand. This is so relatable because back in my day, back when I was a child, when I was just a wee gherkin, I would just go to the movies or the movie house, as we called it back then. And I, I went to go see the original Star Wars that came out back in 1977. And that was just blew us away. You know, it was su such great cinematics, you know. So uh, it, it did lose best film of the year to uh, Woody Allen's Annie. Which, which was okay. That wasn't bad. Do you guys remember back in 2017 when Chris Pratt used to do, What's my snack? If you don't, let I me don't. bless you. Okay. Ooh, it's all of a pistachio cake. But I was supposed to eat that tomorrow, not today. Oh, but I do it. Don't buy only a bit of First off, Heidi Washburn, you don't get credit for, credit for that. That was Chris Pratt, Pratt, Pratt. Secondly, I have no idea what was going on there. I just felt super uncomfortable the whole time because I was just too close to Chris's face. That beautiful face. So it could have been worse, but at the same time, personal space. Hey, where's my hairbrush? Oh, wait. Is my hairbrush? What? No! No! You forgot the last bit! How dare you! How dare you! Smash like and subscribe if you know that reference. If you're from Oklahoma, lift up your lighter. Danny DeVito. Oh. But what a beautiful thing to end on. Danny DeVito. But thank you all so much for bearing with me on this episode where we explore the talk to just see how much of a boomer I really am. And the judges have spoken... I am a that much of a boomer, which as you can tell is definitely a zoomer, and I'm not a boomer. I have to do another one of these, don't I? Danny DeVito, the one that we need, oh, you're the one who can turn this all around and lift us from the ground